morning, church. I want to read some scripture from James. Those of you that know me, maybe part of the church or just kind of follow along, know that James is one of my favorite books in the New Testament because of how practical, applicable, and easy to understand it is. I'm going to read to you from chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. You adulterers, don't you realize that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God? I say it again. If you want to be a friend of the world, you make yourself an enemy of God. Do you think the scriptures have no meaning? They say that God is passionate, that the spirit he has placed within us should be faithful to him. <laughs> Interesting that in the very beginning it would be called an adulterer. You know, we know what adultery is. It's having a relationship outside of the covenant relationship that you have made. And therefore, when the scriptures challenge us right here, it's saying, you know, how dare you have an affair with the world when you're committed to God? And so when we look at this, it says here that the, the spirit that God has given us is not only passionate, but it's calling us to be faithful to him. There are guidelines in our relationships, in marriage, you know, within the, the boundaries of the man and woman in their marriage, there's boundaries. And God has established boundaries in our relationship with him. And so we can't go out there and have an affair with the world and think everything is good in our relationship with God. So I challenge us, church, through the word of God. The passionate spirit of God is calling us to be faithful. Let's not go out there and have an affair with the world today. Let's be true to our commitment and our relationship with God through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that he's placed within us. Let's be his church.